this question, we're asked to find the EMF induced in a coil as it turns from the position in figure X where it has maximum flux linked through to figure Y where there is no flux passing through the coil at all. And we know Faraday's law tells us that the EMF induced is equal to the rate of change of flux linked. And we also know that phi there is equal to magnetic field strength B times the area of the coil. And we can then substitute those two formulas together, as you can see. Now we need to know how much the flux has changed. Well, that's going to be simply the maximum value of flux at position X take away zero, which is the amount of flux at position Y. So really, it's just a question of bunging the numbers into this formula. So therefore, we can say that the EMF is proportional to 20, because that's the number of turns, times 90 milliteslas, the strength of the magnetic field times the area of the coil of course we've been given the diameter so it's going to be 30 millimeters squared times pi and all of that lot is divided by the time it takes which is 0.2 when you stick that jolly lot into your calculator you get the answer that the emf is proportional to 25 millivolts which is in fact the answer now I've been using proportional because technically that's what Faraday's law says and the proportionality constant comes from Lenz's law which therefore is going to mean that the EMF is actually equal to minus 25 millivolts but since we don't really have any definition of what minus or plus is in this example we can just say 25 millivolts.